Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to be doing my September favorites. As you can see, I'm trying to make my corner as festive as possible for October. I am so excited for Halloween this year and all the Halloween looks that I have up my sleeve, if I actually do them. But look, isn't this cute? You can't really see it, but it's like... I thought I'd put it in my background, but it's not working out as cute as I was thinking. You can't even see it. It's too tall, so I'll probably just go out in my yard. Anyways, I have a few favorites. I haven't done this since July because we've been moving and all that good jazz. And, uh, yeah, so I just, like, picked out some things I've picked out lately. Um, it was a little hard. I was trying to remember what I haven't talked about and what I have talked about because it has been a while since I've done a favorites video. But yeah, this is just kind of what I came up with and I just wanted to share it with you guys and maybe you guys want to grab some of it <laughs> on your next trip someday. Okay, something first I want to share with you guys, which is right behind me, is this cute little guy right here. It's a cute little mummy, and I actually got it at Target in their $1 to $3 section, and um, I'm sure, I don't know what it's for, but I got it for a brush holder because it was so cute, and it matches my mummy lights back there, which are my September videos right now, too, because I bought them in September. So these, those came from Target, those lights came from Target, and you really need these. It's so cute. Like, it's really good festive. If you like to make your vanity festive through whatever season, then I suggest going to Target and grabbing one of these they had a mummy and I don't know they might have had something else I'm not sure but I just thought this was the cutest thing ever next you guys don't see my vanity and stuff up close but for my background I like to get some things so this I got at Michael's the arts and crafts store I got a hundred percent pure unfiltered vampire blood and I'm trying to think what I could put in here that would be easy to clean out at the end of the season I was thinking like maybe water with some red dye or something that's not going to smell after I want to clean this out and put it away for a year. So I got this. It's really cute. Um, I just like the whole bottle. Acid. And I have a candle and some other miscellaneous stuff back there. Okay, so let's just jump into my favorites now. Those were two side ones, but now favorite favorites. So I'm going to start off with face wash. I did a face wash routine. I'll link it down below if you guys want to see it. But um, I didn't like it. I didn't like how my face was feeling. I didn't like it. And I was going through a lot of stress during moving. And so I wanted to try something else. I would just get to it, clean out my pores, all that good jazz. Someone told me on Twitter to grab this, actually. Um, it's the Bior Free Your Pores Deep Pore Charcoal Cleaner. And it's this. And it's black. And I like it. It looks neat. And you're just supposed to rub it into your hands, into a foamy lather, and just put it on your face. And, oh, I'm talking so fast take a breather I'm so excited about favorites because I haven't done one in so long okay you're supposed to put it into a foamy lather and then put it on your wet face um I use this about every other day maybe every two days because I don't want to wash my face too much and I don't have that much acne but when I'm stressing I do have a lot so I do want something that helps and this is pure magic I have to say if you haven't tried or haven't experienced this yet, you need to grab it because it is totally, totally worth it. Faux show. The next thing is not makeup related or beauty related, but it'll make your house it'll make your house smell good. And yeah, so I went to Bath and Body Works the other day and I wanted some fall candles because I want my room and the house to smell delicious. And Bath and Body Works does work. So I picked up Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. I saw this all over the place on Instagram, on social media. I saw this and I wanted it and I'm like, this probably smells like heaven. Like, I know I want it and I haven't even smelled it yet. I went there sick, stuck a little stuffy nose. I could breathe a little bit. And this I knew. I just grabbed it and I wanted to buy like five because I've already used a lot of it. But it smells so good. And I'm telling everybody, you need this in your life. If you don't have it, you need it. I I don't know. It's just, it, it smells like love. If a candle doesn't smell like love to me, I don't want to, I don't want to light it. It has to smell like love. And I know that's weird, but if it doesn't smell like love, it doesn't smell delicious, then you don't need it. You know? The next thing whew, that I got, I got it 
about a week or two. No, I got it a couple weeks ago. But I haven't tried it and it's just been sitting in my drawer, just hanging out. I didn't know if I really wanted to try it. But I got the NYX Wonder Stick. On one end, it's your highlighter. And then on the other end, it's your contour. And I love, love this. It blends out so well. I've been trying to work with my cream contours that I have and everything. And I don't know, maybe I'm just slow with it. But it's just not working for me so far. So I picked up this and I was like, well, I've seen everybody rave about it. And I wanted to try it. And this is amazing. I'm so glad I got it. Like, I'm... I use this more than like regular contour and stuff and I'm so glad that I picked it up because it's that amazing. I even use the highlight shade and I usually don't even use the highlight shades in most things and I do in this. And it's just so blendable and it works really well and I just referred it to someone today and I'm referring it to you guys now. Um, so I've had this in my collection for a while, for a couple months and I guess I just didn't give it the benefit of the doubt because I used it once in um, my Elf Cosmetics tutorial, um, one brand tutorial, and then I just never freaked it up again because I'm like, eh. Well, when this shade right here, well, it's not a shade, it's a powder, but it's a shade. Yes, it's sand. <laughs> I haven't used it, and uh, lately I've been feeling my MAC Studio Fix powder has made me feel really chalky and, like, cakey, and I didn't want to feel cakey. So, I got this I pulled this bad boy out and I was like why not just give this a go and I did and I don't feel chalky and I don't feel cakey and I love this and I think it's only that's a lot of bands I think it's only like one to three dollars three dollars maybe I think and I love it and I'm so glad I have this and I'm gonna keep using it and it's just kind of a newfound love so just hasn't been in a video yet thought I'd share the next thing which a lot of people know I don't like changing up my routine and it's really hard to for my videos and I try to show that I have other products but it's a little hard and so last month I think maybe yeah okay last month I picked up this bronzer it is Wet n Wild's Ticket to Brazil color icon bronzer and I got it for five bucks and with this much product, you can't go wrong for $5. And honestly, it's the perfect shade for me. I would love to get more of their bronzers. Because this is the best bronzer I've ever used. And it's so blendable. And I like it more than my MAC. And this is only 5 bucks, And you get a lot of product for $5. So if you haven't already, I would try Wet n Wild's Color Icon Bronzer. You will love it. The next thing, which... I got last month, I have a lot of his products, Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipsticks. I have a lot of them because I think his lipsticks work out really well for a lot of looks, especially the NFL series I'm doing right now. I just want to pick up his all the time because they're so out there and they just make more sense, you know? Well, for the longest time, I got my sister-in-law celebrity skin. I didn't want it for myself because I'm like, it's going to be ugly on me. I don't like, I hate nudes ask anybody i hate nudes and i think nudes are ugly on me i don't like them they i think they only work for certain people and no well when he announced that he was releasing a 2.0 version of it i had to get it i just had to it's beautiful um i don't know what why but i wear it all the time and i grab it all the time and y'all Yes. It's not too much. I think it's got some pink in it, and that's why I like it. Because nude nudes, I have a nude in my collection, but it's like, hmm, it's bad. And I just, I just don't give nudes, oops, I don't give nudes a shot, and I don't want to, but this one, I added to my collection, and I grab it all the time. And if you guys don't have Jeffrey, any of Jeffree Star's lipsticks yet, I would suggest getting this one. It looks on good on every skin tone, I think, and you need it in your collection. And that's that. Just, that's that. Okay, the next thing I picked up was all of the MAC, 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 Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadows. They're all right here and then one right here. I picked up all of them. 
because I, wa I wanted to try them and I tried to do a first impressions last watch video, but my camera decided to crap out on me and not work for a couple days. I think it just needed to relax. Well, these are amazing. I use them all the time. I think they are beautiful, they are very pigmented, and they are worth the money. And I just love these. They're beautiful. I can't wait to try their duochrome eyeshadows because I'm sure they will please. But lately I've been picking up the MAC, Mac Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. <laughs> I've been picking these up a lot. And I just think they are not too in your face, not too out there, but they're good for a lot of looks. And I just recommended these to some people and I don't know, honestly, in my opinion, you need them because they blend really well. Like I didn't think they would blend very well. And I don't know why I had that in my head that they wouldn't blend very well. Maybe because I'm like, well, it's foiled. I know, you know I don't know, maybe just, maybe like glitter and it wasn't going to blend, but they blend amazingly. And yeah, they're the top of my collection all the time. And <laughs> I don't know what time I don't use these. Okay, the next thing I picked up, I needed some makeup remover. I ran out of my makeup remover wipes that I use all the time and that I picked up at Victoria's Secret because that's where I get them all the time. Well, I went to Sephora and I'm like, I need a makeup remover. Well, no, I asked her, is this a good makeup remover? I'm like, I've heard people rave about it. I wasn't sure. And I told her to be honest with me. And she said, yes, it worked really well. And she uses her makeup. This is great. I love it. I put it on a towel and I wipe away. It's better than the makeup eraser. And I have that. And honestly, I need some of this, more of this stuff or like around the face. Because this gets off every speck of my makeup. No matter what I use, no matter how many eyeshadows I use, this takes off every speck. And I love it. And it's the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover and it's blue and it's got like some stuff floating up stuff but just shake it it's like that and it's got and you just like you know wipe it the only downfall of this is i got some in my eye it doesn't sting because it's good around the eyes it doesn't sting it just makes me want to wipe my eyes a lot afterwards and it's like feels really watery and it doesn't burn it doesn't sting or anything like that but it's just an uncomfortable feeling and so i'll just wet my face if I get into my eye because it's just it's just uncomfortable like I said and no but this is great I like it and I see why everyone raves about it this one was only eight dollar seven or eight bucks because I got the tiny one and yeah I like it the next thing I picked up is for the same day I needed a new brush cleaner and I told the woman I needed the woman the worker <laughs> I told the worker I needed I needed a brush cleaner, but I didn't want her to give me a Sephora brand unless she knew she loved it. And I didn't want, I know they have to sell the brand because, you know, they're in that store. But I wanted, I wanted a brush cleaner that was going to do the job and wasn't going to make my brushes fall apart or whatever. And so she showed me the daily brush cleaner and she actually gave me a demo, but she didn't have any dirty brushes. I'm like, well, I guess I'll see what happens. They have a great return policy, whatever. This stuff is magical. I love it more than my MAC one. And the reason I didn't go pick up my MAC one is because I don't have a MAC close by me and I didn't want to make the drive. Well, this is awesome. I have a picture on the screen for you guys of before and after, and that should just explain how awesome it is. Like, I don't have to scrub too hard. I don't have to rub them too hard. Because with my MAC one, I felt they were being, they were falling apart, especially my e.l.f. brushes that are super cheap. I'm like, I don't want these to last a while, you know? Well, all you do is spray this on a towel. It's a, it's it's called the daily brush cleaner. Um, it's quick drying, which is so true because I'll clean my brushes before I do another makeup tutorial, and they're already dry and I'm ready to use. How handy, right? So all you do is spray cleanser onto dry towel or cloth, not directly onto the brush head. Um, gently rub brush head over cloth until surface oil and dirt are removed. Reshape the bristle of the brush and light it flat to dry. Well. They eat dry in like seconds, I feel. I mean, that's probably exaggerating, but they dry within minutes. And this, I don't know, I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is amazing. And if you want your brushes to be amazingly clean, I would definitely try this. And it says specifically, do not spray directly on your brush, which I haven't. So this so far, if it gets out the toughest stains of my contour brush that I just showed you guys, then that's saying something, you know? Like, just saying. You, you, okay. 
Um, I picked this up before we moved and I didn't have a chance to try it because I wasn't wearing makeup that much and like I didn't have a recording area and yeah so I just like didn't do anything with makeup for five weeks. I picked up this Lorac Pro mm, contour kit and everyone was raving about it so I had to pick it up. These are all the colors. I like to use the beige highlight for setting the under eye area and I feel it works a lot better than my other contour kits I have especially this light contour. This light contour is definitely light and it works. Um, you have to be light with the brush because it does pick up a lot of product and this stuff is very pigmented. But I definitely love this and it's definitely on my go-to. I will contour with my wonder stick and then do a powder if I want to. If I don't want to use my bronzer, I'll use this powder as my bronzer and, you know, call it a day. It's not too orangey. On my skin, I had a contour kit that was too orangey for me, and, well, not too orangey, but it was orangey, but I still like it. It worked. Whatever. Um, but this works really well, and I haven't tried it on anyone else yet, which I'm excited to because I feel like these, this ranges really well. The next thing is the Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette. When this was released, I knew I had to have it because everything by her is amazing and, hands down, one of my favorite brands. So I, it's kind of dirty. This is what it looks like on the inside. And all these shades, I just feel like you can do so much with this palette, with her palette. You can just do so much. And especially for fall time. And I think it's a really good palette to have for fall. And I think it's very, very pretty. And you all need it in your life. Um, I don't know if I shared this in another haul video. I forgot to watch it. I might have. But it's my go-to eyeliner right now, all the time, no matter what. Um... It's another Anastasia uh, product. I can't talk today. Another Anastasia product. It is her waterproof cream liner, and I got it in black, jet, jet black. And I love it. It's it's super easy to work with. It's super smooth, super creamy. Um, I can smoke out my bottom lash line as I please, and I just love it. I just think they're it's fantastic. And I'm so glad I got it, and I hope I try more of her other eyeliners. But yeah. this pretty much concludes my September favorites. Um, I don't have anything else to share, at least I don't think so. I got some makeup within that month, but I haven't played with all of it, so it'll that stuff will probably be in October. But I am looking forward to October. I am looking forward to showing you guys what I have in store. So um, if you like this type of video, Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next um, video. Thanks for watching.